attention, please. Welcome to the Bangor Auditorium for tonight's Class A Boys State Championship game. This contest has the Western Maine champion Stags from Chevrolet High School facing the Eastern Maine champion Rams from Bangor High School. The Maine Principal Association reminds you to practice good sportsmanship during this evening's game. Cheer for all the players. Respect the opposing team. Accept the decisions of the officials. Be proud of your high school athletes. Give them reason to be proud of you. Show good sportsmanship. The Maine Principal Association is very pleased to welcome Health South, Oakhurst Dairy, Nelnet, and the Coca-Cola Company as corporate sponsors of the 2003 Maine High School Invitational Basketball Tournament. These sponsors are proud to support interscholastic athletics and the values and ideals they represent. And now let's meet the participants for this contest. First, the team members for the Western Maine champion, Shepherds High School Stags, coached by Bob Brown. Number three, a sophomore, John Sewell. A senior, number 10, Christopher Doughty. Number 12, a junior, Mike Schnackenberg. A senior, number 13, Rob Reinheimer. A junior, number 20, Neil Atfield. A senior, number 30, Jonathan Leahy. Number 33, a junior, Drew Wittig. A senior, number 34, Kyle Kippicus. And a freshman, number 23, Sean Costigan. And now the team members for the home team, Bangor High School Rams, coached by Roger Reed. A senior, number 12, Nick Acorn. A junior, number 22, P.J. Dow. A sophomore, number 30, Omar Conta. Number 32, a junior, Mike Prentice. A junior, number 34, Mike Larichel. A sophomore, number 40, Anthony DeRosa. Number 42, a senior, Josh Heath. A junior, number 50, Chad Astell. Number 52, a sophomore, Brian Hackett. And number 54, a sophomore, Jesse St. John. And now the starting lineups. First for Chevrolet. Standing six feet, two inches tall and playing forward, a junior, number 24, Andrew Schober. For Bangor, standing five feet, ten inches tall and playing guard, a sophomore, number 10, Jordan Heath. For the Stags, at six feet even and playing guard, a junior, number 22, Mac Simpson. For the Rams, at 5 feet 11 inches tall and playing forward, a sophomore, number 20, Aaron Gallant. For Chevrolet, at 6 feet 3 inches tall and playing forward, a senior, number 25, Andrew Ward. For Bangor, standing 6 feet 3 inches tall and playing forward, a junior, number 44, Kevin Flynn. For the Chevrolet Stags, at six feet even, and playing guard, a senior number 21, Austin DeAngelis. And for the Bangor Rams, at six feet one inches tall, and playing guard, a senior number 24, Wes Day. And for the Chevrolet High School Stags, at six feet five inches tall, and playing center, a senior number 32, Jeff Holmes. And for the Bangor High School Rams, at five feet 10 inches tall, and playing guard, a senior number 14, Zach Ray. Officials for this game are Mr. Halliday, Mr. Jewett, and Mr. Cloutier. Training services at the scorer's table are provided by Health South. You're now invited to stand and join us as the Mango High School Band under the direction of Mr. Scott Burdett on as our country with the playing of our national anthem. All fans in attendance are respectfully requested to remove their hats during the playing of our country's anthem. Presenting the colors for this evening's game are the cadets from the Mango High School Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps.
that's uh, any indication <laughs> we can expect. We can expect a good one. Officials tonight's game, uh, Clay Halliday will be throwing the ball up. Jeff Jewett and Al Clody are working with Halliday. Chevers High School against the Bangor Rams. Not a lot of surprises here for either team. Really not much in the way of adjustments to be made, particularly major adjustments. The major adjustment, you've already heard about that, the lineup changed by Bangor to get Kevin Flynn back into the lineup to try to match up against the size of Chevers. Bangor may be a little bit the advantage in terms of team quickness, and Chevers coming in with a size advantage, particularly in the post where Jeff Holmes at 6'5 is the tallest player on the court. You can see uh, the Bangor fans across the way, and now you see the uh, Chevrolet fans uh, bouncing up and down. So Flynn will jump against uh, Flynn of Bangor in white. Will jump uh, jump against Jeff Holmes as we get ready for basketball action here at the Bangor Auditorium. And the chip controlled by the Stags. This is DeAngelis. He's picked up by Zach Ray. Starts to go to the left side. Now goes to Simpson of the Chevrolet Stag. Simpson with the ball, holds, now goes to the top to Ward. Now inside to Holmes. Holmes can't control, he's double teamed. He puts it outside to DeAngelis. Now to Simpson, the first shot of the game, it's no good. Rebound picked off in there by Galan of Bangor. And the Rams start right quickly down to the left side, goes to Heath, back to Zach Ray. Zach is a quarterback, he will uh, he'll set the things up. It looks like that uh, they're, the Stags are in his zone right now is they're picking out what they're going to play. Yeah, it's a 2-3 matchup zone, and the difference is, is that Chevers will guard the players in the area rather than just guarding the zone. Heath with it goes out the top to West Day. Day is their pure shooter. Now to Gallant. Gallant at the top, puts the ball to the right side. Zach Ray. Now to Heath with the Bangor Rams. Goes to Gallant. Gallant Connor goes to Ray. Now to Day, back to Ray. As we start here in first quarter action, and you talk about a low score. I think we've got it coming right now. First shot by Bangor's day is no good. A rebound action taken off by the Stags. But that's what you're going to see. Both teams in a half-court set be extremely patient, looking for their best shot. They do have three-point shooters, but Chevers will work the ball into the middle. Holmes with a left-hander. Line drive. <laughs> yeah, Puts it in. That's his game. He's lefty. He doesn't work that far away from the basket, but if Chevers can work it into him in that post area, he's uh, a little bit more than Bangor can handle, potentially. Two to nothing as Chevers breaks the ice here at the Bangor Auditorium. Right side goes to West Day. Now Connor goes to Gallant. Back to Day to Heath. The left side is Zach Ray. Ray starts toward the middle. Almost has the ball stolen. Now it goes out to Day. Right side to Gallant. Foul line extended. Goes baseline. Puts it back outside. But right to DeAngelis. DeAngelis comes down with the ball on the dribble. Looking now. Goes Connor. Simpson inside to Holmes. Holmes again with another left hand. Boy, that's going to be a problem right there. And Roger Reed wants a quick timeout as Holmes has hit two and the Chevrolet Stags lead four to nothing. Yeah, Bangor's going to try to sag as many defenders on the inside as they can against Holmes. But if the entry pass comes that high, he's really the only person that can go up and get it. A perfect entry pass by Chevrolet there. And now, quickly, Bob Brown, as you see him exhorting his troops, Chevrolet's able to establish that inside game. That's the advantage that they have in the half-court offense. And Roger Reed calling timeout, I'm sure to remind his defense to not to make sure somebody gets in front of Holmes as well as guarding him from behind. And also to apply pressure on the perimeter to make that entry pass as difficult as possible. So you saw Mr. Holmes at work, the six foot five senior. Two shots, two baskets. And uh, his team leads four to nothing here at the Bangor Auditorium, Class A on Main PBS. At the top goes to Day, now the Glant, Connor Heath. Heath comes back out to Ray. Ray to the right side, off Day's leg, he picks it up now. Now he's double teamed, now he gets the ball, but stolen there, and re-stolen by Bangor's Zach Ray, as the errant pass goes right to him. To the right goes to Day. Day at the top to Heath, as they work the ball around the perimeter. Ray's shot is up and good, he floats one up and gets it in, and Bangor breaks the ice now, it's four to two. The Angeles comes down for the Chevrolet Stags. Outside the top to Schober. 
Schober, nice bounce inside, but stolen by Bangor. The quick hands are going to three on one. Ray's going to pull up and shit, take the three. It's no good. Rebound action. They're going to call a foul on Ray from behind. Yeah, over the back. That's Bangor in transition, to, though. They will look to shoot the three-pointer. Sometimes they will fake the three-pointer and take it aggressively to the basket. That time, Ray couldn't get it to fall and got called for that foul. DeAngelis will bring down Austin DeAngelis. He's a six-foot senior. He's got it by Ray. Starts to the left side, and the rebound, or I should say the action away from the ball is going to be a foul. It's on Kevin Flynn trying to deny Holmes' position at the high post. So that's the first foul, the second team foul against Bangor. As the inbounds play will come to Ward. Ward has the ball almost taken away. Now he gets to DeAngelis. DeAngelis starts the baseline. Now he's going to put up a left hander, and he puts it in. That was behind the glass. Yeah, DeAngelo was a scorer. Didn't play point guard until this year. Last year was the off guard for the Stags. Those days for us outside shot is no good. Rebound picked off inside by Simpson of the Stags as they lead 6-2 to two and they have the ball. Simpson stats down right to the basket, puts it up and draws a foul. Nice uh, quick uh, release by him to see the opening and he took it in and gets fouled. Yeah, Bob Brown and Chevis coach like that. Simpson just beat his man off the dribble. There he is getting past Jordan Heath, driving hard to the basket. The help defense comes from Bangor, but too late, and that's going to be two fouls on Kevin Flynn, a big moment early in the game in terms of the size differential we talked about at the outset. Foul shot is up by Simpson, is good. And that's the third team foul against Bangor, and Chevres has not committed a foul as yet here in the first quarter with 4.18 remaining. And Flynn sits down, and Mike Prentice, who started the, uh, the Eastern Main Tournament for Bangor, checks into the lineup. Simpson's second shot is up and good. Eight of two now to score as Chevis leads here. Six points here in the early going of this contest. State A championship online. Prentice with the ball now just came in the game. Heath left side to Ray. Ray holds over his head. Now the top to Heath. Goes right side to West Day. Now to Gallant. Gallant with it comes out the top. It goes to Zach Ray. Starts to penetrate. Can't. Now back to West Day. West Day of Bangor High School. They're going to get their shot. Now it goes to Ray. Ray at the top to Heath. Now back to Ray. Ray's going to fire one up. It's no good. Off the front. Picked off by Ward of the Chevrolet Stags. And they're giving Bangor just one shot. DeAngelis wants to work now. Still on the dribble. Got it by Ray. Now to Schober. Schober's way outside. Got it by Day. Now the loop pass going inside to Holmes with traffic. Puts it up and draws the foul. Left-handed from the right side, but he got up there, and he can get up. He's got some good leaping ability. And again, the lob entry pass, high entry pass. Nobody from Bangor out there taller than 6-1 right now. Can't get up to get it. There's the entry pass to Holmes. A triple team as Bangor's help defense got there in time, but Holmes just going over the top to draw the foul on number 32 of Bangor, Mike Prentice. So the, uh, the two big men for Bangor are uh, in jeopardy now of fouling. But what else can you do? This, this guy is around the basket very good. He misses his first foul shot. Tall and talented. Second shot is good. 9-2 to two the score. Chevrolet's out with a quick seven-point lead. 321 remains here in first quarter action. Here at the Bangor Auditorium, a packed house tonight. Now it goes to Day inside to Galan. Galan in traffic, puts it up, and he goes right by Holmes and lays it in. There's the quickness advantage Bangor has, and uh, Galan used it, getting underneath Holmes. Holmes not wanting to foul, gave up the basket. Nine to four the score. Simpson now left side to Schober. Schober of the Stags, starts to work to the top, bounces down, he goes to DeAngelis. DeAngelis on the dribble, got it in the air by Zach Ray. Now he looks for help, goes to Ward. Ward holds the track, tries to move, can't. Simpson starts to move, now he's gonna penetrate. Takes the baseline shot and misses. Zach Ray off. Now he's going to lead inside to Glant. Glant puts it up. No good. Rebound Ray Prentice inside, but ripped away by Schober. Bango on the foul. They had a lot of contact. No call. And Shepard's the beneficiary. DeAngelis now goes in the corner to Simpson. Back to Schober. Now to DeAngelis on the left side. DeAngelis starts to, wants to penetrate Cant. Gives the ward. Ward starts to move. Foul line jumper back. Nice smooth shot. Yeah, exactly right. He squared up perfectly on that textbook shot by Andrew Ward. 11 to 4 the score. Chevrolet looks very, very impressive in this early going of this contest. Zach Ray fakes the three, goes to Heath, right side to Day. Day Connor goes to Glenn. Glenn puts a three up. Yes! All net. And that makes it 11 to 7. Yeah, you've seen Glenn, one possession to go on the inside, that time from uh, long range. 
DeAngelis with the ball, starts to move against uh, Zach Ray, right there in the shirt. Having a little bit of trouble, now it goes to Ward, who's outside, loops a pass to DeAngelis, he's on the right side, starts to go, stops, goes out to Simpson. Simpson with an outside three, no good. Rebound picked off by Zach Ray, leads Galan. Galan's gonna go right to the hole and reject it in there, beautifully. That time by number 25, Andrew Ward. Oh, Ward, the senior, played on a one and 17 team at Shepherds as a freshman, and he rose there to deny Bangor the fast break. Holy smokes. Day with it now, goes to Ray. Ray goes right to the glass, off it, and in. And Bangor comes back now. They were down nine to two, now they trail 11 to nine. DeAngelis with the ball. DeAngelis on the turn now, looks for help. Goes to show where ball's knocked away. Zach Ray's gonna chase it down. And the quick hands people are back in it now. Left side goes to Heath, now to Glant. Glant from the other side, it's no good. Rebound action in the middle, taken off by Simpson. They're not gonna get more than one as the Stags really close off on that defensive board. DeAngelis with it now. DeAngelis now gives to Simpson back to DeAngelis in the corner. Starts to go over the baseline, can't get it. Heath right there with him. Now Simpson back to DeAngelis. Prentice is giving Holmes all the game he wants underneath. Now Ward loops it across to DeAngelis. Starts to go baseline, loops it up left-handed. No good, rebound strong by West Day of Bangor. Yeah, good defense by Prentice there, fronting Holmes and denying the entry pass. Zach Ray looks up at the clock now as we're under a, uh, 30 seconds now. 11 to nine to score. Chevres uh, leads Bangor here in this first quarter of action. So they're gonna play for the last shot. And the substitute ready to come in probably won't get in. As Roger Reed is up and coaching, Zach Ray with the ball. They're gonna hold it. Ray still on the dribble. Looks up the clock, there's six now. He's gonna tricky dribble, he's gonna go. The ball's knocked away, and he's being fouled in there by DeAngelis. That was the play right from the get-go there. Zach Ray using his one-on-one -on -one ability to create a shot for himself. And a lot of times good shooters won't get the shot they want, but they try to create contact, and that time Ray was successful and gets to the line. So there'll be some subs coming into this game unless uh, Ray misses it, but he'll have a pair. Zach Ray going for the Mr. Basketball uh, nomination. Foul shot is up and good, so we might have a tie game at the end of one here. As uh, P.J. Dow will check in for Day, and for the Stags, 10, Christopher Dowdy comes in. And the other sub will be 13, Rob Reinheimer. And these are the two people that, uh, that the uh, athletic director told me that they would use. Foul shot is up and good, so we're tied at 11 with 2.9 left in the quarter. DeAngelis looks up on the clock. DeAngelis fires at the buzzer, no good. So at the end of one complete, it's 11-11 here at the Bangor Auditorium. Chevris and Bangor will be back with second quarter action right after this. You're watching tournament basketball on the stations of Maine PBS. As we're back here at the auditorium, locked at 11, the Chevris Stags and the Bangor Rams. And Prentice will sit down. P.J. Uh, Dow will come in and stay in. He came in at the latter part of the first quarter. D-O-W-E, you spell Dow with the E on the, on, the, uh, on the last letter. And Bangor will put the ball in play here to start the second quarter. Sessions of Bangor to begin the second period. As Zach Ray will handle the ball. Zach goes to the right to West Day. Day is their pure shooter. Ward right up there with him. Now goes corner to Zach Ray, now to Heath. He starts to work at the top, now to the right side, now to Ray, now to West Day, now to Heath. He's gonna take the three, it's off, no good. Rebound action's tipped, and finally taken off by Holmes of Chevres. So Bangor almost got a hand in the other time to a possible second shot, as Prentice will get ready to come back in for the Rams. He goes to Reinheimer. Reinheimer with the ball, looking for help now. Now it goes to Holmes, he puts the shot off, it's no good. Ward comes off the rebound. Back to Reinheimer, now back to Ward. Ward at the top, goes to Doughty. Doughty's gonna fire one up, it's no good. Rebound tip, and it's picked off by Zach Ray, who looks down the corner, and he, down the court, and he brings the ball down. 11-11 the score here, second quarter action, first half. Zach Ray's gonna stop, nice play by DeAngelis, but the ball's picked up by Heath. Now it comes back to Zach Ray. Zach Ray starts down the middle, now back to Heath. Heath at the top, goes to Day, that's his shot. It's no good off the front, no good. Rebound action, P.J. Dow battles off with Holmes, and Holmes comes up with it. Yeah, good defense both ways again. 
Shevris in that matchup zone, giving Bangor problems. Doherty with the ball. Doughty, I should say. Now it goes to Holmes. He's outside. Now it goes to DeAngelis at the top to Ward. Ward starts to work with it. Now to Reinheimer. Reinheimer comes back. It goes to Doughty at the top. Doughty starts to work. Scoops the ball back outside to DeAngelis. Bangor's defense starting to tighten up now. Now it goes uh, to Holmes. Connor goes to Reinheimer. He looks inside. Loops a pass way across to Doughty. Almost lost it. He picks it up. Looks around, tries to get the dribble. He's right there with him. Starts to go in the middle. Nice defensive play at that time. Three Bangor players leaped in to, to help out with Holmes. Yeah, good reaction. This is the defensive type of game we expected to see. 11 11 with 6 12 left in the first half. Both teams going at it very aggressively. Shepherds out of the matchup zone. And on that occasion, you saw a good example of Bangor's quick man to man. As West Day comes back in the game for the Bangor Rams. Shouldn't say Dave Prentice, uh, Galanza right now. Nice work, worked his way in that time. Holmes puts up a basket, and it's 13 to 11. And was able to switch and go to the right hand on that occasion. As uh, Zach Ray with the ball. West Day now at the top in the middle. Goes to Prentice. Prentice in traffic. Now it goes to Heath. He stops, fakes the three. Now inside, the ball's knocked away. Heath comes up with it. Now comes outside to West Day. Left side to Galant. Gallant fakes, now it goes to the top. Bangor playing with two sophomores. Nice bounce pass inside the Prentice from Zach Ray. Beautiful move inside. He penetrated, created, and they get the hoop. 13-13. Zach Ray showing a lot of leadership for the Rams so far, that time with a blind pass. And away from the play, they're going to call a foul on Schober. And uh, Schober is the guilty patty, uh, Andrew. And that will be uh, the second team foul on the Stags, and Bangor has 14 fouls. That's only the first on Schober. Yeah, again, we talk about all the great defense being played, but it's being done cleanly without a lot of fouls. So Zach Ray uh, leading the crowd, uh, leading everything as he did against Brunswick, and playing inspired basketball in a great contest here at the Bangor Auditorium, 13 to 13. Wherever you are in the state, hope you're watching this one. Stay with us to the end. As uh, Zach Ray at the top to Heath, now to Ray, tries to penetrate, can't. Now it goes to Day. Day's range is unlimited. In the middle of Glant, off to Prentice. Prentice puts it up and in! And it looked like he got an arm on the hand, too, but he still made the basket. So Prentice with another basket, and Bangor takes the lead 15 to 13. DeAngelis with it now, looks for help. Looks for help, still looks for help. Now he gets the ball off to Ward. Into Simpson, back to Ward. Ward starts to go to the middle. Now DeAngelis with an outside lefty is no good. Rebound in the middle by Holmes. Holmes turns in a big crowd, puts it up, no good. Ward on this side, no good. Rebound by Holmes, he puts it up and in. Good yep. battle that time by the Stags. Right back with it. Zach Ray off the Prentice again. This time is a little bit too hard, no good. And the Stags come off as we're tied at 15 with 4.22 left here in the first half action. Now Ward with the ball on the foul line extended. He starts to go to the glass. He puts up a jumper. It's in and no good. Rebound by Zach Ray. They're boxing out so well on the perimeters that uh, Ray is able to uh, sneak down the middle and grab some of those rebounds. Now it goes to Heath at the top. Left side, Zach Ray. Zach now looks, goes back to Heath. Banger in white. Chevres in their purple and yellow. As DeAngelis comes out now against Day. Now to Heath. Heath looks for Zach Ray, he's outside now. As Day goes to the left side, he takes the ball. Simpson right there with him. Now Zach Ray in the middle, and the foul is going to be called on Schober, and that's going to be his second. Yeah, a little impatience defensively there by Shevers. You notice Bangor trying to fast break a little bit more than perhaps some people thought. They, they're having a little bit of difficulty with the matchup zone. Here's the pass from Ray and the foul from behind on Schober, his second. but. Uh, Bangor gradually getting more comfortable running the offense. Reinheimer checks back in the game. And uh, Holmes will take the break. Uh, Zach Ray outside with it. Roger Reed up calling signals as uh, Ray backs it up. Now stats forward. 15 to 15. There's a tie here. In the first half of action here at the Bangor Auditorium. West Day at the top. The Heath is all by his lonesome. Bang! This is a sophomore. Yeah, missed assignment there in the matchup zone as nobody went out top to guard Heath and he made the open jumper. 18 to 15, Bangor leading now. Reinheimer with it. Now off to DeAngelis. DeAngelis back uh, goes to Simpson. Simpson's outside three and he rings it. And we're tied at 18. 
Nice shot that time. Nice uh, assist that time by DeAngelis. Now West Day with it. A lot of patience by this Bangor team. Zach Ray with it. And the action they're going to call against Reinheimer. And Reinheimer is guilty, and that's going to lock it up at 4-4 on the team oh, fouls on both sides. Yeah, Reinheimer had his off arm wrapped team around four. Prentice of Bangor, and Clay Halliday saw that and made the foul call. As P.J. Dow will come back in the game, and Prentice, and the Prentice playing yeoman job tonight. Usually a starter, uh, had a giveaway to Flint, but uh, is out now. But doing an excellent job for this Bangor team. Now in the middle of Heath. Heath puts it up left-handed, and he doesn't make it. He was inside, but just couldn't get the uh, the touch on that one. So it's 18 to 18. DeAngelis with it. DeAngelis turns at the top now. The right side loops it to Simpson. Simpson's a three-point shooter. We've learned that uh, often early here. He gets it back. Now in the middle. Nice pass to Ward. He puts it up and in. And a great job by Ward of using his body to establish position. The entry pass perfect and the layup for Ward. Ward created and got the bounce. Nice bounce inside. 2018 the score. Bangor trails by two now. Now to P.J. Dow on the left side goes to Zach Ray at the top to Heath. Now to Day. Day has been silent, but he is a good shooter. Gallant with it now. The top goes to Zach Ray. To the right goes to Day. Day back to Ray. Ray up fakes it. Now goes the middle. P.J. Now Heath with another outside shot. No good. Rebound action is picked off in there by Ward. As they're not letting the Bangor team in for that second shot. DeAngelis with it now. Looks at the top goes to Ward. Ward fakes it. Starts to work on Gallant. Now he goes to Schober. Schober outside to Simpson. Now to Ward. Ward uh, tries to go to the middle. Stripped inside beautifully by the Bangor team. There's four players. Now the ball's knocked away, and it may be. Yeah, I was going to say, it looked like it was off a Bangor leg. Yeah, at first it hit, uh, it looked like Schober of uh, Jefferson, then trickled off a Bangor player, and that'll give the Stags the ball with 128 left in the half. Schober checks out as Holmes checks back in. Reinheimer stays in the game. Now Prentice will check in. And uh, P.J. Dow will check out. 2018, the score, 128 left here in first half action at the Bangor Auditorium. You couldn't find a better one in these cold nights in Maine. The top goes to Reinheimer with the ball now. It loops it down to DeAngelis. DeAngelis holds, starts to move the baseline, and there's going to be a pushing foul called by Zach Ray. But that's only the fifth team foul. Yeah, no shots there, Ray. A bit of a touch foul there, but had his forearm on DeAngelis. DeAngelis, by the way, the most valuable player of the Western Maine tournament so far tonight, though, just one field goal. As Reinheim will put in play right in front of us here at our position. Now he loops away across to DeAngelis. DeAngelis wants to work. Now inside the homes. The shot is up and no good. In and out. And they're going to call a foul on Reinheimer. So Reinheimer starts to pick up the fouls. That's his second. Again, good boxing out by Bangor there. And Reinheimer with little to do but go over the back. While he got the ball, he also got a Bangor player, and the foul's called, although Bob Brown uh, doesn't agree from his venue. And Holmes looked like he might have had a player control foul, and he put the ball, it started down, but it popped right out. Yeah, the help defense came over quickly for Bangor. So Bangor trails 20 now to 18. As the loop pass goes to Heath to the right side, now comes out to West Day, the top goes to Zach Ray. Now to Gallant of Bangor High, bounces it to, to West Day. Now to Heath. Heath holds the ball, gives it to Zach. Now it's at the perimeter. They move the ball around. Zach Ray has it again. And he comes back outside with 41 seconds left. 2018 to score. Chevis leads by two. As Ray looking at the clock. May look for one shot here. I think I, I saw Roger Reed motioning his guards to come out. And Ray standing by half court. And uh, at this point, Chevis content to let him stand there dribbling the ball. As the clock ticks down, you can see it at the right-hand uh, corner, lower corner of your screen. Bangor fans cheering. And Zach Ray with the ball. Now he's yelling up. I'm going to second. Here we go with seven. Looking up. DeAngelis is there with him. Ray can hit the three. Nice move by Ray. He puts it off inside. He goes to Galad. He puts it up and in at the buzzer. And we tie it at 20. At the end of one, we were 11-11. Here at halftime is 2020. We'll be back right after this.
So we're getting ready after the uh, sportsmanship awards. Uh, uh, we see the Presque Isle uh, team now holding up their award. Um, how many days did you say you had in the first uh, half? Day zero for Bangor and Austin DeAngelis, MVP of the Western Maine Tournament. Uh, just two points for Chevrolet. So there's a couple of uh, primetime players that have canceled each other out in sort of a negative way so far. Look for both teams to try to get their, uh, basically their second leading scorer is more involved in the offense here in the second half, but certainly the defenses of both teams have had something to do with that so far. The Chevrolet will be shooting at the basket of the entrance of the auditorium. And they're right in front of their bench. DeAngelis with the ball now for the Stags. Starts at work to the left side. Looking inside, loops it into to Ward. Ward's shot is no good. There's Holmes. He puts it up in the end. Nice solid rebound underneath. And we go up to 22 to 20. Chevrolet draws first blood here in the uh, second half. As Ray brings the ball down. Zach Ray on the dri dribble. Now it goes uh, to Heath at the top. Today, now the crowd starts. Zach Ray with it. Now at the top goes to Day. Day left side to Heath. Heath got it by Simpson. Now back to Day to Zach Ray. Got it by Ward. Nice pass goes in the middle of Gallant. Gallant turns and the crowd puts it up and in. As a sophomore for you, fall away. Nice shot. Yeah, soft touch there by Gallant. He showed us offense in just about every conceivable way. 22-22 now, DeAngelis off to Simpson. Simpson loops it back to DeAngelis. Looks inside, starts to go baseline. He's gonna go, puts it up left hand and in on the right side, right on the baseline behind the glass. Yeah, got an early screen from Ward there. You can see DeAngelis looking for his own shot. Heath with it. Now it goes to top to Zach Ray. Now to Day, Day's shot, yes! So no, no sooner we said it, he is a pure shooter. Keep that in mind as this game goes along. He can bang those all night. 25-24 the score, Bangor regains the lead. Loop pass goes to DeAngelis right side. Now in the middle again to Holmes, knocked away by Flynn. Yeah, Holmes had good position there, but Flynn, uh, quick reaction to uh, prevent Holmes from getting the ball in the layup territory. And if Flynn didn't slap that ball away, it was two. Now it comes to Ward. Ward with a jump shot. No good. Rebound. Tip up around and in by Holmes. Beautiful tip in. Yeah, Holmes there with the right handed tip for the left handed player there. And now two offensive rebounds results in uh, two field goals for Holmes. And he's up to 13 points on the evening. 26 25 to score. Shervis leading as we go seesaw here in the third quarter. Zach Ray with the ball now at the top. Goes to West Day. Now to Heath. Heath uh, with almost, and yes, it is, and it does get away, and finally, DeAngelis picks it up for the Stags. Starts the middle, there's a jump shot from the foul line, he hits it, he made them pay that time. Yeah, DeAngelis, a rare transition basket for Shevers, rare turnover for Bangor, but DeAngelis in the open court able to knock down the 15-footer. 28-25 to score, as Zach Ray brings up. Now stops, loops the pass way to the corner. As a shot high and in by our boy, <laughs> West Day. Day and uh, the end was suddenly in a scoring contest. 28-28. We mentioned that just before the start of the first half. The Angels coming back with a jumper. No good this time. Day comes off with the rebound. You notice how Chevrolet quickly gets back. And this time, and there's a collision underneath as Gallant went down hard and also Ward. But uh, Gallant, the Bangor, gets up. Yeah, ball's tipped out of bounds by Shivers. And Shivers does have to get back because in the first half, Bangor tried to sneak fast breaks over the top of the Shivers defense and had some success on it. So the ball will be put in play by West Day under his own basket for Bangor. We're tied at 28. Pass goes in the middle. Taken by Prentice. Now to Gallant. That's Day with another three. This time it's no good. Rebound action taken off by Holmes. Strong rebound. DeAngelis with it now for the Stags. Goes corner to Schober. Ward at the top. Now to Simpson. Simpson leaves it back to Holmes. Holmes is going to turn with four people on him. Ward, now a nice scoop out of Schober. Now goes DeAngelis. That's back outside to Ward at the top. Goes to Simpson. Simpson holds. Now loops the pass. Goes in the corner. DeAngelis with it. Now back to Ward. Ward starts to penetrate. Gets the screen. Pops it up. It's no good. Rebound again by Day. And Bangor will bring the ball down. 28-28 here. Good exchange that time. Good defense on both sides. Two very talented teams. As Heath with it. Fatway outside now. Right side. 
the day. Now, now to Zach Ray, to Heath Connor goes to Gallant. As they stack around, he's going to send up a three. Yes! Right in front of the Bangor bench, he bangs one home, 31-28. Bangor suddenly shooting over the top of the Chevrolet zone. 4.06 left, third quarter. Ward with it. Left side goes to Schober. Schober at the top goes to Simpson. You notice that these Stags have white shirts right with them. DeAngelis with the ball, now goes in the middle to Ward. Ward turns now to Simpson. Simpson with the shot, it's no good. Rebound action by Schober. Schober puts the ball down, and there's going to be a foul call. Looked like a tie-up at first, but they're going to call a foul on Gallant. Yeah, I couldn't see it from my angle, but uh, indeed, Gallant, just his foul. first foul of the game. There's the action inside. Gallant, that's his first. Team's a lot of first reaches, second. couldn't really tell from that Reaching angle. for the ball. Well, that's what now it comes for. back to DeAngelis. DeAngelis with it at the top, goes to Ward. Ward looking now, starts to penetrate, now goes to Simpson, right side. At the top goes to Holmes, Holmes outside, Prentice right there with him. Now Ward tries to get by the Gallant, off balance. Simpson's gonna turn, put one up. He uh, blocked the shot, but the follow was you know, good by Schober, and Schober puts it in. And that would be your definition of accidental offense there by Chevrolet, says he was just in the right place at the right time. 31-30, Bengal leads by one. Zach Ray with the ball. Zach Ray with a three. Yes! He saw an opening, took it, bangs it home. 34-30. And Chevrolet wants a timeout. So Bango keeping the games low. We saw West Day with a couple threes. We saw Zach Ray with a three. We see a lot of uh, strong penetration by the Chevrolet team. I, I'm predicting over overtime. You're predicting overtime. <laughs> and it's only the third quarter. Well, that's Bango's fourth three-pointer of the uh, second half here. That shot by Jordan Heath. Heath and Ray with one each, and as you mentioned, Zach uh, Wesley Day with, with two. And what that's going to do, if Bangor continues to hit the perimeter shot, it's gonna open up seams in that matchup zone, and then all of a sudden, Ray becomes even more valuable, like he was for much of the first half, beating his player off the dribble and creating havoc inside. As the shots start to fall from the outside, that defense spread is more room to drive. Zach Ray comes down to put a little pressure on DeAngelis, who didn't see him at first. Now he wants Schober to go down. He's going to carry it himself. Now the top goes to Simpson, back to DeAngelis. Got it by Ray. Ray is right there with him. Now outside goes to Schober. Andrew gives the ball back to DeAngelis. Now Ward, Ward at the foul line. Now to Simpson. The white shirt's right there, and as uh, Holmes starts to turn, he's being fouled, and this might be on Keith. No, it's on uh, 32, which is Prentice. Yeah, quick. Prentice, uh, tough job. Obviously, done a pretty good job denying Holmes the ball in that post area. That time, Chevrolet worked it well and was able to get the ball to Holmes in the paint. The foul was called as the timeout is now called. And uh, here's the replay entry pass from Ward into the lane and uh, from behind. Prentice with the foul. That's two fouls on Prentice now. But uh, I think Roger Reed will take that kind of foul for Bangor in order to keep. Holmes from getting uncontested layups on the inside here. Just and, it, and that's the second team foul on Bangor. Shepherds has not committed a uh, team foul as yet. Yeah, I think it's the kind of game everybody expected. Relatively low scoring and just a lot of intense defense and intense clean defense, as you said. Joe, we're 243 left in the third quarter. And just two team fouls combined by both teams. Simpson will put a play, goes to DeAngelis out the top, goes to Schober, back to DeAngelis down the middle of the wall. Uh, I should say Holmes out of Ward. Ward uh, goes to Schober. Schober with an outside shot. It's up, it's no good. Tip up is no good. Rebound action is still tipped around. And finally, someone picked that up. No, they're still going for it. It's still loose, and the Stags come up with it as D'Angelo chases it down. What a change that was. Now Ward, Ward starts to drive. Now to Simpson. Simpson to Chevrolet now. To Ward, and there's going to be a fouling action away from the play. This is going to be on Prentice again. Again, trying to deny Holmes' position in the low post there, and the Jeff Jewett on the call. Number 32, Mike Prentice. Three on Prentice to go with the two on Flynn, and Flynn will come back into the game for the Bangor Rams. So the Rams starting to pick up uh, team fouls here. And of course, you have to, uh, they don't get the one on one till the seventh, and they get two at the tenth. Now it comes outside to Ward, inside to Holmes. Holmes going to turn, and he's traveling. He got his position, but he was traveling. Thought he maintained his pivot foot. Bob Brown thinks that Holmes maintained his pivot foot, but the travel was called. 34-30, Bengal leads by four. 
And Zach Ray works the ball to the top to West Day. West turns, now goes to Heath. He starts to work to the left side, still on the dribble. Now he backs it up. Looks around for help, now goes to Gallant. Gallant holds over the head. Two sophomores playing for Bangor High School here in the state championship game. Heath with the ball, looks for help, and they're going to call a holding foul against Chevrolet. I think it may be on DeAngelis guarding Ray. Not sure about that. Yes, it was on DeAngelis on against Ray. That call coming from the other side, Bancourt inbound. So that's the second on DeAngelis, only the first on Chevrolet with 137 left here in third quarter. Zach Ray with a four-point lead and the ball. Ray starts to go. He's going to turn. Now it goes to Day. Day got it by Ward of Chevrolet. He works the left side. The top goes to Heath. He starts to go to the rest side, the right side. Now it goes to Zach Ray. Bangor running a double high post offense here, and the goal is twofold. Either to get a layup, or perhaps even the last shot of the quarter. Now it goes to West Day, is outside, got it by Simpson. Day starts to work through the basket, going right to the poop, and stripped in there by Ward. As Bangor uh, thought they should have had a foul on that one. Now it goes in the corner to Schober. Schober of the Chevrolet, and they're going to call a foul on West Day. Yeah, West Day at the other end. That's the one they didn't call on the other end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what Bangor was looking for, was that kind of a layup. The uh, Chevrolet's defense reacted well on that play. A lot of contact, no call at one end, and then the call on Day, his first at the other end, and now Bangor has 14 fouls. Chevrolet will put it in play. Schober will be uh, toss the ball in in front of his own basket. 34-30 the score. Corner to Simpson, now at the top, it goes to DeAngelis. Now goes to Simpson. Simpson starts to penetrate, gets inside to Holmes, back outside with a three for Ward. Yes! Nice bang. 34 to 33. Chevrolet within one. With 35 seconds left. Zach Ray outside with it. Now left side goes to West Day. He's on the dribble and a steal by DeAngelis, but he's fouled. Yeah, I think they're going to call a push off with the other arm. DeAngelis got the ball. It looked cleanly, but I think he was pushing Day as he did it. And the foul was called on DeAngelis. And that's number three on Austin DeAngelis, the point guard for the Chevrolet Stags. And that's only the second on the, on the team. As uh, Zach Ray will put in play, he's still in the backcourt. Now he steps over. 15 seconds left. We were tied at uh, half, 20 to 20. 33-34 right now in the middle of Flynn. Now today outside is Zach Ray. Four seconds left. Goes to Gallant. Gallant starts to work. He puts it up, knocked away, and we're not going to have a shot by Chevrolet. So at the end of three complete, Bangor Rams lead over the Chevrolet Stags, 33, uh, 34 to 33. And we'll be back with fourth quarter action right after this. On this uh, Chevrolet team, the status Max Simpson's a junior, along with An Andrew Schober. And you look at Bangor, and Mike Prentice is a junior, and the two sophomores, Jordan Heath, along with Aaron Gallant. So. And Kevin Flynn, a junior as well. Right. So. And he has, he's back. seen a lot of action in these last two games. So the final hurrah here, boys and girls. Eight minutes of basketball left, the one point difference as Bangor leads over Chevrolet 34 to 33. Now we'll start looking at fouls. We know DeAngelis has three on him, so he's got to be careful. And they need him. Zach Ray with it. Zach going to go right to the hole, leaves it up for Prentice, and he puts it in. Beautiful move that time by Zach Ray. Yeah, that's Ray's best, just creating something, either for himself or a teammate. Nice drop off pass there. 36-33 the score. There's Simpson outside. Now goes the top. Remember that uh, Westbrook took the Shivers team in three overtimes. Now Schober, Simpson, Connor goes to Ward. Ward wants to work, and they're going to call a foul on Gallant as Zach Ray goes down and Ward goes down. Yeah, I don't Ward. think that's going to be a shooting foul. No, Ward wanted the baseline there, and uh, Gallant just muscled him out of bounds. That's only two fouls on Gallant, but now five on the team, so we're getting close to the bonus situation. As Simpson will put in play for the Stags under his own basket. Looking now, looking, now it goes to Holmes. Holmes wants to work. Now it goes outside to Ward. Ward's three, and he's flattened. The ball hit off the glass. 
And coming down the other way is the Bangor Rams. Now Heath, Zach Ray with it. Now comes out today as they start to work. Zach with the ball, holds over his head. Now goes to Connor Gallant. Gallant behind the back, back outside to Heath. Heath inside, goes to Prentice. Prentice now to Day, now to Zach Ray. Zach Ray through the legs, got it by Ward now. He's coming back out. 6.43 left in this contest. In the middle of Prentice, uh, Gallant, I should say, misses a shot and rebound action. We're going to see a foul over the back. Schober was fouling uh, Prentice. Prentice, good uh, work there by Prentice as Chevris playing a 1 2 2 matchup zone now in recent possessions. But uh, there's the shot. Rebound to the weak side. There's Prentice, good position there. And over the top is Schober for his third foul. Third against Jefferson in the half. Reinheimer checks in as uh, Schober uh, goes over the sideline. And there's going to be number four on Jefferson in the half there as I believe Reinheimer off the bench picks up his third. <laughs> the threes have it right now. West Day inbounds it, goes to Heath. Heath had an idea for the three, now it goes to Gallant. Gallant's going to move him off the glass. No good. In the rebound action, he's pushing off. That foul's on Gallant there as he had him boxed out, had his defender boxed out, but kept moving as he was boxing out, and that was the foul call. 36-33, Bangor leads by three points here at the Bangor Auditorium. No one is left. Stacked house on both sides. So we can't have that 35-34 score back in 48, can we? <laughs> now the over wins. Holmes way outside now. Now in the middle goes to Ward. Now to Reinheimer. Ward to the right side, DeAngelis. Now to Holmes. Nice move by Holmes, and he's being fouled from behind by Prentice. Yeah, you said a really nice move there by Holmes. Hasn't really got the ball that much here in the second half, but that time got the ball in good position, spun to his right, went hard to the basket, and uh, the foul is called. That's number four on Mike Prentice of Angle. He's the first player in the game with four fouls, but undoubtedly not the last. Foul shot is up and no good. As Flynn will check back in, Prentice will check out. And it's a situation, if you're Bangor, you have 10 fouls at that position, basically, with Flynn and Prentice, and so far they've used up seven. So he has a two-shot foul in the act of shooting, and Shervis is now in the one-on-one. Foul shot is up and good. So it's 36-34. Bangor leads by two. Zach Ray with the ball. On the dribble. Now at the top to West Day. West wants to work behind the back now. Gives off to Zach Ray. Got it by Ward outside. So he's brought part of the height out with him. Starts a tricky dribble. Going to stop. Fade away. No good. Rebound taken off by Simpson of Chevres. And they'll start down the other way. DeAngelis with the ball now. DeAngelis cornered to Reinheimer. Reinheimer looks inside. Now bounces inside to Holmes. Got it by Flynn. The middle goes to Ward. Right side stolen by Ray. Zach's got one guy to beat. Nice pass goes to Heath, and Heath draws a foul. Yeah, Ray so quick at the defensive end for Bangor, and then so patient on the break to wait for a teammate to slash to the basket. And that time, Chevres trying to catch up. Committed the foul as Reinheimer picks up number four. So that's the fifth team foul. Bangor away from two going on the foul line. This is their MO. They get on that foul line, they're, they're pretty good. Now pass goes inside to Gallant. Now to Heath. He's going to stop. The ball is tipped away, but Day picks it up. Now to Heath with a downtown three. Yes! Man size, super size. As Heath, the sophomore, bangs one home and Bangor leads by five. 39 to 34. And timeout, 30 second timeout asked by Chevron. Great rec recognition by Bangor on the offensive end as Ward fell down trying to steal the ball. His man in that matchup zone situation was Jordan Heath. I believe it was Day, picked up the ball, saw Heath open at the top of the key, got it to him, and then, again, as you said, the sophomore knocking down the big shot. Bangor's lead now surges to five points. And five points in a game like this, with such defense being played, is uh, not a huge lead, but it's a it's a bit of bit of fresh air for the team that's ahead. 5-10 remaining. Flynn stays in the game. As Bangor High School, uh, they talked about Brunswick and uh, Bangor beat Brunswick, but of course this game is far from being over. But right now, 
I'd rather be on the five-point lead than the five-point behind. I'm not a math major, but I agree with that. <laughs> DeAngelis with the ball now. Zach Ray still there with him. Now Simpson inside. A nice play by Flynn. Knocks the ball away from Holmes. They're, they're evidently, Bob, they're going to go for the middle guy. Exactly. Bob Brown telling Jeff Holmes to be strong in the post to get position and then get space to get the ball. DeAngelis will put it in play for Chevis as he holds over his head. Now he loops it outside. Back to DeAngelis. DeAngelis looking inside. Flynn is fighting him off. And DeAngelis, are they going to call a fourth foul on him, a player control foul? Player control there is Bangor. While well, it's essentially a man to man offering a lot of help, both with Holmes and, and also on the ball at that time. DeAngelis tried to force the baseline that called for the player control. Fourth foul on him. 454 remains in this contest as Zach Ray with the ball outside and on the dribble. He wants Flynn outside now. Flynn goes outside and Holmes comes out with him. And he gives that double high post there where they can run some clock if they so choose. Day with it. He's got it by DeAngelis. Now DeAngelis got four on him. They should go right at him. Heath with it. Now bounces, goes in the middle. It's stolen by Holmes. Nice pass goes to Simpson. He puts it up and in. Nice pass that time. Good alertness. He saw him going down the floor and he put the ball to him. 39-36. And good defensive pressure out in the perimeter by Shepard set that play up. Zach Ray with it now. Right side goes to West Day. West got it by Ward. Now to Heath. Heath on the dribble. Outside. And he's way outside with Holmes. Now goes to Day. Day wants to turn. Day is still on the dribble. He's outside. He's stopping over the left. Goes to Heath. Heath with Holmes way outside on him. Heath wants to work the left side. Starts to go with it. Now he's going to dribble that way down and come back out. So he's got the big man on him. Now goes to Zach Ray. Zach turns. Reinheimer is guiding him from Chevrolet. Still on the dribble. Goes to Heath. As they start to work the clock. 3.31 left. Heath with it. Nice bounce goes to Zach Ray. Zach Ray double team. He bounces. Now it goes to West Day on the side. Now to Gallant. Gallant holds over. Head stolen by Watt. Watt just picked it right out of his hand. 39 to 36. DeAngelis with the ball on the dribble. Now it goes right side to Simpson. Simpson holds for the Stags. Goes to the top to DeAngelis. DeAngelis looked down to the right side. Now on the dribble. Got it by Zach Ray. Now Simpson. Connor goes to Reinheimer. Inside goes to home. Double team. Back outside to Simpson for a three. Yes! He bangs it home. We're tied at 39. 2.52 remains in this contest. And all because of the steal by Ward. Mac Davis. Mac Davis. Zach Ray with it. Thinking of a song. <laughs> Both sides up and erupting here. As we're locked at 39. Day loops a pass and he does one again. He goes down hard. Yeah, Ward, he's the uh, opportunist tonight. He's really stepping forward here at the defensive end, just making things happen. Roger Reed Stags. wants a timeout. Excuse me, uh, Ernie. Yeah, the Bangor started running that double high post offense, and it's almost like they backed off a little bit. As they backed off offensively, Chevrolet, and in particular, their perimeter players really stepped up their defensive intensity, forced a couple of turnover steals by Ward that resulted in baskets, five points in a row for Chevrolet, and a little let up in the aggressiveness by Chevrolet. So, foul trouble or not, they're going to play defense hard until the end. Right now, uh, Bangor needs to regroup a little bit offensively. They were backing out, as I mentioned. They need to start to attack a little bit more again and try to take advantage of maybe the over-aggressiveness of Chevis and look for some backdoor layups. Maybe get the ball to Zach Ray. He's been guarding a lot or in positions where he's been guarded a lot by DeAngelis. Let him try to get the ball in a one-on-one -on -one situation if you're Bangor and see if he can get to the hoop against DeAngelis. And if you're Chevis, you keep doing what you're doing because your defense has uh, has told the story here in the last minute or so after you were down by five and now you've got it back to a tie game. Mike Pernis comes back in for Bangor. The Splin will go to the sideline. And the Chevrolet Stags uh, break out. Reinheimer stays in the game. So the last 230 left here in this contest. We're tied at 39. Zach Ray. Now he's got 10 seconds to get into the over the 10 uh, second strike, which he does. Starts to work the ball on the dribble to the left side. DeAngelis got him here. Remember, DeAngelis has four personals on him. 
Stags have committed 16 fouls. So the next one will put a one on one. Day now with it. He's Holmes is on him outside. Now goes to Zach Ray. Boy, that was almost taken away from him. Behind the back, Simpson guiding uh, Zach Ray. Now to Gallant. Gallant uh, on the dribble and starts over to the right side. Now goes to Zach Ray. Got it by Holmes. And uh, Holmes is still pushing and fouling. Yeah, that, this was, time. that was a foul waiting to happen there as Holmes is 6'5, just outmatched from a quickness perspective by Ray, way out from the basket. And Zach Ray, the uh, Bangor leader, will be at the line to shoot one and one. One and one at the 149 mark. And as hard as Holmes has played, that's his first foul of the game. So Bangor, a pretty good foul shooting team. I'll probably jinx them, but uh, they, they were in the tournament. And on the eastern side, Zach Ray's foul shot is up and good. So both teams in the one and one, and we'll just see who can make the foul shots now. Because I don't imagine Bengal is going to take too many shots. They're going to hold the ball. Now I still think both teams will be very, very patient. Chevers will be patient as well. 149 remains. Care by Zach Ray. 41-39 the score. And now crunch time, boys and girls. This is what uh, you've been waiting for. Main PBS choreographed this for you. So hang with us. Simpson at the top, DeAngelis. DeAngelis starts to work down the middle. Right side goes to Simpson, back to DeAngelis. The top goes to Ward, left side to Reinheimer. Nice pass inside to Holmes, and Holmes puts it in. And you're exactly right. Great pass by Reinheimer to the arm that uh, Holmes wanted to catch it and then quickly go up for the shot to tie the game. 41-41 with 121 left. Zach Ray to the right to West Day. West Day now DeAngelis comes out on him. Ward is out on Zach Ray. Zach works to the left side. Now to Heath. Simpson is there with him for Chevis. He starts to the right side, still on the dribble. Still dribbling, turns now to Zach Ray. Ray does not let the ball come to him. He goes to the ball, which you have to do. Now Zach Ray with it, under a minute. Hold on your hat. You look at the Bangor side. They are going bananas. Is Zach Ray watching the official trying to get away from the five-second count. Now to West Day. I imagine Roger Reed will probably call a timeout to set it up as the pass goes inside to Prentice. And the ball is thrown out of bounds. I think in the ideal world, you're absolutely correct, Joe. And Roger Reed not happy with his senior leader looking, pointing to the clock. 35 seconds left. Bangor had the ball. In a tie situation, the worst case scenario at that point was overtime. And uh, a gamble pass, a lob to a shorter player against a taller defense underneath, and uh, the ball goes out of bounds. And now it's Shepherd's decision on the offensive end. And, and where Prentice was, if he came down with the ball, he didn't have a shot because there was two players right there for Shepherd. And they're all they're both taller than him, too. Right. So just an ill-advised pass there by Bangor. And now, now it's Shepherd's. And uh, if you're Shepherd's, I think you do what you've been trying to do the entire game, and that's get the ball to Holmes, see what he can do on the post. He has a size advantage over whoever's guarding him, and if he gets the ball on the inside and, and Bangor's defense collapses, then he's got the opportunity to kick it outside to a DeAngelis or a Simpson or a Ward, who all have three-point shooting capability. Bangor's got to play good, solid defense. You certainly don't want to foul here, either. You just want to play good, honest, hard-nosed defense and uh, see if you can come up with a steal or, or at least make Shepherds take a very difficult shot. And there we go with 35.3 left, 41-41. Reinheimer now to DeAngelis. And you watch Jack Ray, he's quick on defense. Now it goes to Ward, 27 seconds left. You see the time. Now to Simpson, got it by Heath. Reinheimer got it by Day. Now to DeAngelis, now to Ward, 18 seconds left. Ward right side goes to Simpson. Simpson left side goes to Reinheimer. Now at the top, DeAngelis. 10 seconds left. Now DeAngelis at the top to Ward. Time's going to run out on the Chevrolet boys. It goes to DeAngelis. DeAngelis is going to stop. He's going to turn. He's going to fire. No good. And we've got overtime. Did I say overtime in the third period and you laughed at me? I didn't laugh. <laughs> oh, you didn't? <laughs> well, I probably did. But we have overtime. I don't really think Shepherds got what they wanted in that position. A uh, 
18 footer with time running down. I, I'm not sure what they were trying to do. It appeared they were trying to get the ball to DeAngelis in a situation where he could try to make something happen off the dribble. But Holmes never really went to the low post to try to create space for himself down there with an advantage. And so as a result, both teams uh, struggling uh, in terms of execution here in the final minute. And the result is uh, overtime in the state Class A championship game. And it's a four minute overtime. And they will jump the ball at center. And we'll see what we will, shall see. And we've got some foul issues here. Uh, you know, Flynn, I believe, I'm, I'm sorry, Prentice has four for Bangor. Uh, DeAngelis has four for uh, Sheffers. Reinheimer has four for Sheffers. I'm not sure if there's anybody else with four fouls, but that comes into play here too. Free throw is obviously a factor. Both teams in the bonus for the uh, duration of this contest. And, uh, you know, the question remains, uh, what players will be able to step up and make free throws and uh, what players won't. But uh, boy, I'll tell you, it's been a long winter, but uh, this is a heck of a way to end it. Yeah, it certainly is. Neither team should lose this game, but someone has to. So Prentice will be jumping against Holmes. And there's a Bangor crowd across the way and the Chevrolet crowd behind us bouncing up and down. And the ball is fucked up. It, went, it was on Holmes' side. No wonder he got the tip. <laughs> See, they don't have to do that that much. He you didn't know. really need that help, did he? As <laughs> a shot by DeAngelis, and he hits the first two in the overtime. 43 to 41. As Zach Ray starts down with it. Remember, DeAngelis playing with four personal fouls, as Ernie mentioned. Heath with the ball now. Heath on the dribble, got it by Ward. Still outside. 3.30 left in the overtime. Ward. Uh, I should say Heath with it. Now back outside to Day. Got it by Simpson. Day starts to go. Now he loops it over to uh, Zach Ray. Back to Day. Day can fire those threes. To get his position, he can go. Now Zach Ray on the other side. Zach starts to go. Stays tops. Now he loops it off to Day. Day's going to take the three. Yes. Fading away. Fading away. 44 to 43. Bangor leads by one. Jeffers now goes to Holmes out the top. Got it by Prentice. Ray in his shirt. He wants to move now. Left side goes to Simpson. In the middle goes to Holmes. He wheels and deals. Now to Ward. Nice move by Ward. No basket. Player control. And look who took the shot. That was Gallant. Yeah, nice play by Gallant. And good work by Holmes. Double, triple teamed on the baseline. Got the ball to Ward going to the basket. And Ward didn't see the defense reacting to him and went hard into Gallant for the player control foul. No foul shots on the player control foul. 44-43 the score. Bengal leads by one with 245 and what we hope will be the last overtime, but it may not be. Zach Ray brings down. No one's left this place. It is packed right to the top. And the governor is seeing a good game. Heath with the ball, got it by Simpson now. Heath turns, bounce goes to Day. Day got it by Ward. Day can fire. Day comes back out Pat way with it. Still in the dribble. This is a transfer from John Babs of a year ago. And I guess Holmes is a transfer from Messalonski or from no? Mas uh, Massabisa. Yeah, Massabisa. I knew it was down with an M. Outside is Day. He's flirting with that 10 second line. Now it starts to work to the right side. Goes to Zach Ray. 44 43 with 207 left. Pulls over the head now. Zach Ray starts to turn. Starts to go to the left side to Heath. Heath with it. Got it by Simpson. Heath wants to move now. Now he goes to the right side. Looks like it's getting a little bit slippery out there. Now starts to move the left side. Goes to Zach Ray. Zach's in the same spot. He started to slide. Now he starts to go to the middle. He's sliding again. Yeah, a lot of bodies on the floor during the course of the game, and they can't wipe up everything. Starts to go to the right side. Giving off to Day. Day got it by DeAngelis. Now Day wants to work on DeAngelis. Still in the dribble. And there's going to be a foul called on Ward, so... Zach Ray will go to the line for one and one. Yeah, Ward was guarding Ray there, but he was watching Zach. Uh, he was watching West Day with a ball and didn't see Zach Ray stop. So Ray is going to head to the free throw line for one and one. Last time he was at the line for one and one, he sunk both. You got to make the first to get the bonus, and uh, that's the ninth team foul, and only Ward second on Shevers. So the next one, Bengal will be on the line for two. Foul shot's good. Zach Ray, as Ernie had mentioned earlier, was had the steal in the Deering game when he was a sophomore. 
Last year they got bumped in the quarterfinals by Brunswick, and now they're in the finals again. Zach Ray again, 45-43. They make a three-point lead. He get, they get it. Six of six from the free throw line for Zach Ray for the game. 46-43 the score. As DeAngelis outside with 125 left. Now to Ward. Connor goes to Reinheimer. Reinheimer looking inside. His Prentice is all over Holmes. You can see him right in the middle there. He's, he's there tugging away, trying to get the ball in the middle. Now DeAngelis, whoa, he kind of uh, used his shoulder on that one. No call. Now Ward. Ward out, got it by Galland. Ward through the right side. 104 left. Simpson. Simpson got it by Heath. Now goes to Reinheimer. He faced. He's going to put up a left-hander. It's no good. Rebound tip up. No good by Reinheimer. The ball is tipped by uh, Bangor. It goes out. It was Zach Ray. Picked up by Simpson. 49 seconds left. And Chevers wants another timeout. Boys, a good play inside. He just couldn't get the basket. You know, the rebound action, it was a tip, and it went all the way in the backcourt, but it was tipped by Zach Ray. Yeah, he just wanted to clear the ball out to do, deny Chevers another tip. It was a situation where the tip could have been a catch. He actually had time to catch the ball and go back up, but didn't realize it tipped the ball. And here's Bob Brown uh, calling a timeout to try to set up a play. Don't need a three-point shot yet. With 47.7 seconds left in this game, and Bangor leading Chevers by three points. But what they would like to do is get a shot relatively quickly, because if they don't go for three, it's a two-possession game. And uh, look for uh, look for Chevers to try to get something, perhaps with DeAngelis and Holmes on the same side of the court. Maybe a kick into Holmes. Although Prentice, as you said, Joe, despite being uh, outmatched in terms of height, not in terms of strength, and really doing a good job of pushing Holmes away from the basket, just a step or two further from what he wants, really his comfort zone for getting the ball, turning around and shooting. So there's your score, 47.7 seconds remains in this contest. And another barn burner here at the old auditorium. Simpson with the ball in the backcourt. Still on the dribble. Now mistakes are so important for both sides. Goes to DeAngelis. Now he loops the pass to Simpson with a fire. No good. Rebound taken off by Reinheimer. Now the Ward back to DeAngelis. Off balance shot. It's up. It's no good. Rebound taken off by Bangor. 28 seconds left. Zach Ray with it. He's going to come down. He's going to stop now. Is that finally the foul? Ray, Ray couldn't believe no one was going to foul him, so he took off. And to think for a minute, he had a two-on-one, and he decided to pull it back. Run, run clock. Good decision by by him. He knew the foul was coming sooner or later. Look at the other end. The Chevers opted to go for three there. Didn't get it to fall. The first shot by Simpson. The ball gets back to DeAngelis, and he took an off-balance shot from inside the three-point line. Couldn't get that to drop, and Bangor with a rebound, and Zach Ray with a chance to uh, give Bangor a little bit of a comfort zone. And boy, there he is, 7-7. Seven 7-11. Seven. Seven come 11. Boy, you love it when your best player is also your best free throw shooter. And Zach Ray showing up big from the line here tonight. 47-43. Foul shot is up. Good. 8-for-8. Eight 48-43. Eight. DeAngelis with the ball now. Starts right down. He's going to stop. Stripped by Ray. Picked up by Reinheimer. Reinheimer fires one up. No good. Rebound by Holmes. 11 seconds left. DeAngelo's gonna fire up another one. No good. Rebound strong inside by Prentice. Gallant and Bangor is gonna win this contest as Ray goes to the basket, flips the ball, and there's 2.2 seconds left. Yes, just 0.2, and the Bangor fans begin the celebration. The Rams. And that's it. That's gonna be the game. And John Norris, if you're listening tonight, old man, good man, 1948 is finally revenged. And Bangor wins its sixth state championship in 11 years, third in the last four years. The Bangor Rams, their fans storming the court. It's the type of basketball they play. They play defense, they shoot three-pointers, and they use their quickness. And tonight, all of the above, and Zach Ray leading the way in the Rams, 21-1 and one, and state champions again. <laughs> Looks like they're taunting the uh, Chevrolet side, and uh, yeah. come on, boys, you won the game. Let's not get a riot here. I don't know if we're going to get knocked out tonight. But anyway, it's uh, it was the Zach Ray show uh, almost from the beginning. Bangor had a, a nine. They were down nine to two, and then came back. And we'll be back in just a minute. 